All right, big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pereira represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. Doubt him now, folks. Doubt him now. The undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Drakus Duplessis. And even though, of course, he wanted to beat Israel Adesanya for the title, it ended up being Sean Strickland. This man's the best in the world. And he has had knockers and doubters every step of the way. They knocked his cardio. They knocked his grappling. The man can fight. The man's a born fighter, as are a lot of individuals who grow up in South Africa. And now that he's the champion, in theory, he's 20 to 30 percent better. We'll see if the incumbent can get dethroned here tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at Team Over the Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the main event of the evening. But John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. The only connection with the left from the champ. All right, so an outstanding job by him here to secure the takedown early. Stylistically, we wondered how much resistance there would be. Not much on that attempt. Well, it's very difficult to defend with a guy like this, who is so good at chaining those takedown finishes together. Once he gets to your leg, it's very hard to try and deter him from completing a takedown. He's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Anasanya's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Right arm out, he gets 
gets to his back. Now, he's inside control, but he's out of that deep submission attempt. Under two minutes in the first round. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended gap and battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Well-placed kick there by Adesanya. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice hook there by Duplessis. Oh, and he found the target again. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job oh, finding stop. different places for his strikes to land. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Adesanya. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he is fought beautifully right now, and he's starting to show itself. Under three minutes now to go on the round. single leg takedown attempt here and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from his position. Nice positional control here. Very bad. Holy smokes. 
All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Back to the single. Oh, that's a flush elbow from the bottom. Well played. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, he continues to land with these elbows. You might get a cut here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Duplessis. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Duplessis. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking. That pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, nice straight there by Adesanya. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Under two minutes to go in the round. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. The fighters separate. Durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get it. Oh! That will do it! Holy smokes! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Ready for the official decision Bruce Buffer has. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Sanya. All right, so the clean knockout for Israel Adesanya tonight, the last style bender, not forcing the issue as usual, but it is a pretty thing when he puts somebody away. Well, if you press Israel Adesanya, he will put you to sleep. Once again, he proves why he's one of the best fighters in UFC history.